Okay, let's see. Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, today's date, it is August 21st, 2019. This is some video. This is on the screen uh, my daughter's new MJX Bugs 4 drone. And I was just outside, took some video with my Panasonic G7 camera. Not very good. This is not a very good lens for this. This lens I got for doing uh, YouTube videos. I need a new, I need a, I, this is the only lens I have. I need a different lens. Um, but this is the uh, drone that she's using. It flew really well. And the other day she was flying her other drone and the wind was uh, 16 miles per hour. She had trouble with it. Uh, that's her other drone. This is her new one that she just now flew for the first time. Uh, Alexa, what's the wind speed right now? Alexa. What's the wind speed right now? Currently, it's breezy at 4.6 miles per hour. Tonight, expect a light breeze around 9.2 miles per hour. I couldn't hear that with the headphones. I'm sorry. Alexa, what wind speed right now? The wind speed in White Settlement, Texas is 9 miles per hour. Did that answer your question? Uh, yes. Thanks for your feedback. Okay, so I'm going to show you the video that I took and some few, a few still pictures that I took also with the Panasonic G7. And then uh, Hillary is going to bring over, which I'm looking forward to because that looks like it's a, this is a much upgraded uh, drone for her. So I'm looking forward to seeing the video. And uh, I'll put that video so we'll see video from the uh, the drone so anyway thank you very much don't touch the mouse more stuff is coming up <laughs> see I really can't zoom hardly at all with this Out. I don't know where it is, but I hear it. Oh, there it is, right in front of me. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is Hillary's video. I've got the. Uh, I'll put that below. The type of drone that she's using, and it's a brand new one. And I think the price is approximately uh, two hundred and eighty eighty dollars. Um. This is, I think, the view before I came. Yeah, before I came outside, she'd come over and showed me it, and uh, asked if I not wanted to come out. And I said no. I think I'd rest a while, and then, uh, then I did decide to go out. So, 
right now this is video that she was making here in Fort Worth, Texas, above our apartment complex. Over there in the upper left-hand corner is a Wells Fargo Bank, and there's a little strip mall there. Right at the end, next to Camp Boy Boulevard is, uh, Camp Boy West, I guess, is a pizza place. And uh, there's a shop there that uh, sells uh, uh, airplane, you know, model airplanes and stuff like that. I don't know what all these. I've never actually been in there. Uh, that's an apartment complex across from it. So now you're seeing in the lower, you know, this is our, our uh, the white building there and the thing is number 23 fire station. And uh, she should do her drone flight sometime when every shift, I guess the beginning of every shift, they uh, check all of their equipment. They run the ladder, the hook and ladder up and uh, maybe it's not called a hook and ladder anymore. I don't know. But, uh, so, there's Hillary down there. Like I said, I haven't come out yet. She didn't know I was going to come out, so. I do not like the curvature of the lens uh, thing from this, but she may not have the settings correct for, um, you know, the video or whatever. You're going to see some still pictures at the end, and I'm not sure if those are ones that she snapped or if those are ones that she extracted from the video. But they are really good, and you don't have the curva lens curvature. So I'll have to ask her, and when I find out, I will... Uh, come back and uh, put the answer to that little question underneath. Some of you watching this may know, you know, may know. I, uh, like I said, I will find out the name of the, wonder if I can stop this and I can find it out for you. I'm afraid with this software that I'm running. It's Movidia Video Suite, and I have, I'm sure that it's me. This is the, that's the edit, well, that's the editing software that I'm using, and what I'm using for this voiceover here, of course. And I'm sure that it's me because I don't like to read instructions or whatever, but I have difficulties with it. Now, it, I also use that for, uh, recording the desktop well like the at the beginning here that you saw uh, and uh, that works out great doing the recording of the uh, no I tell you wait I am mistaken I used uh, a different program for that video here at the, at the beginning that's why I used uh, Manicam yeah and uh, or else I would have had the video of me over in the left-hand corner. <clears throat> like I said, this is the apartment complex we're in. It's a nice apartment complex. Um, don't have any complaint except, you know, for the price. But the price is all these people, <clears throat> apartment complexes here, I guess you can't call it uh, price fixing because they could fire together or whatever, but they all... They all know what each other, you know, charge. And so they're all the same price, you know, basically in the same price range. Here's a new video where I came out. Kind of interesting, you see in the chopper blades there. So I'm not sure if, uh, if that's because she adjusted the camera angle up or down or what. I don't know. I know nothing about drones except that I would never be able to fly one of these things. I, I took a flying lesson one time, an hour flying lesson, when I was just out of high school in a Cessna aircraft. I think they had a thing, I think it was like $5. I wanted to uh, take flying lessons, 
but uh, and when I took that one flying lesson, you know, sample lesson, I uh, went out and bought the log book or whatever that a pilot uses. I subscribed to two or three different, you know. Uh, but I don't think I would make a good, I would not have made a good pilot. I I think also this video is better when Hillary just has it hover. I think part of this problem is that she's wanting to control the uh, thing, you know, wanting to fly it. And I think she might be better off just uh, putting it, you know, in a, like a hover position or whatever. Of course, it depends on what you want to do. And she's learning. Uh, this is the first time she's flown this one. And this must be about her eighth drone. She is hooked. She loves it. And uh, it's, I can, maybe you can't, but I can see the smile on her face. She really enjoys this, so. There I am, finally I came out. And I'm using my Panasonic G7 camera. You will already have seen a few uh, uh, did I include no, now I'm totally confused here. Yeah, I think you I've already seen oh my gosh, I tell you. Anyway, if you saw a video of the drone, then that was my video. And this is video from, so. Man, I look old, don't I, man? I have looked like I'm nine months pregnant. I'm 70, I think 78 years old. And all of a sudden, I don't know if it's been a, like a, you know, a year or two years, something like that. I've, I've just gone to old man status. I mean, just, it happened quick. I think something's going on wrong, and I think my doctor just says, oh, you're old. The drone really, it takes good pictures. It's just, I don't, that curvature. And I think that maybe, because when you see her uh, still pictures, I think maybe the reason for this curvature is because of the so that the lens can take those still images so it may be the setting some type of setting because she just wants to fly this thing and well I guess she not she's not like me she will uh, you know look up read the instructions and do that type of stuff but not in the beginning I think she just wants to fly this thing So, I want to explain here a little bit. You're going to see her zoom in on an apartment. And uh, that's okay because that's my, you know, my apartment. Uh, an apartment that my ex-wife and my grown son that we share. So, I just wanted to explain to you. She's not trying to spy on somebody. She Actually, she asked if uh, mom, her mother, my ex-wife, was it in there at the computer in the living room and I said yes so then she tried to zoom in I told her you won't be able to get it but she tried to zoom in so she's not spying on a neighbor or spying on anybody you know she was just trying to see if she could get a video of her mother inside the apartment sitting there at the computer desk 
uh, Darlene would have not have been would <laughs> Darlene would not be happy. I would have had to edit out, you know, the picture if uh, if Hillary had picked her up. The apartment complex looks nice, and it really is nice. They just put a new roof on it not long ago, on all of the apartments not long ago. And they just painted not uh, not very long ago also. And this apartment complex is uh, located in West Fort Worth. The only uh, complaint, I think, is, you know, the price, but they're in line with everybody else. And uh, the apartments have really good, uh, they were designed or whatever, or built, I guess, or else it was by accident. They have really good uh, sound buffering. You can, you know, my ex-wife plays the television really loud and nobody hears it. You just don't hear sounds from the other apartments. So whoever did it did a good job. Oh, so this is going to end here in a little bit. This is, you know, a correct rendition of uh, the way the sky looks and everything with the clouds. So the camera on this drone is really doing a good job. Like I said, I will put underneath the uh, link to the drone that she's using this time. So I think it's called the Bug 3. I mean, that's not the, that's, that's the, I'm like model number. And there's a, uh, or wait a minute, is this the Bug 4? Oh, okay. Well, whatever the length, I think it might be the Bug 4. Because there's a Bug 2, and I think a 3, and I think a 4. By the way, please use the link uh, even if you're buying something else, like if you click on the link and you go there and then you, you know, you don't log out of, you know, Amazon. If you buy something else, no matter what it is, I will get a small commission. And that would be nice. I, I could buy, I want to buy a, a, a different lens for the, uh, see what I mean about the, uh, I like that. That's those are good pictures, I think. Anyway, I want to thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be more videos like this, maybe improved. I'm going to look at a different video editor. This one kind of gives me some trouble sometimes. I think it's because I haven't read the manual, but anyway, I, I, uh, I do thank you for watching.